Hey YouTube, Homestead Prepper. And I want to show you, uh, we're putting in some underground electrical on our barn. And I want to show you one way you can do it. I mean, you can buy a heat gun, you can buy a hot box. You can start up your uh, truck and use the exhaust to bend it. Um, I know people on the job site, sometimes they'll bring a barbecue grill out there and they'll use that. But what you want to do is get a nice low fire and just keep this thing moving because if you leave it in one spot it'll kink and just work it back and forth and we already got 190 made you can buy the pre-bent 90s if you got plenty of money or you don't want the hassle but what we do is we just bend our own Like I said, just keep it moving, and you'll know when it gets to the point that you're about ready. And I think we're almost there. Just keep twisting it and, and moving it. If it gets a little discolored on the outside, it's okay because it's, I mean, after all, it's going in the ground. All right, let's see how that looks. And I already got one made here. And I just use that as my uh, my form, and it's just pretty easy. Um, I also want to tell you when you bend pipe that this bell end coupling always goes away. So this end does not have a coupling on it. So that's the end that uh, I bend up. And if you look over here, that's what I've done. And the reason you do that is when you stick it in the ground, you'll have, when the, when the two 90s meet, you can just put a piece of pipe together. Let me know. Okay, uh, we're also putting some uh, plumbing in over here, and this is uh, just three inch cell core pipe. It's not high pressure, but it's made for uh, drain stuff. And what I always do is when you cut it, it always leaves those edges on there. And I just take my knife, and I just get that off of there and it makes it go together a lot better and plus those little ragged edges stuff can catch on there so um, my uh, brother-in-law he uses a, a router bit and his 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 really look professional but uh, th this right here is good enough for me so I just thought I'd show that to you and uh, this is actually the piece of pipe I'm going to be using I know it doesn't look that great but I mean, after all, it's just going to have poop in it, so. Okay, uh, this is a uh, closet L. This is what we use that goes down here, like this, and you put a stub up and you put your flange. It's for your toilet. And uh, you can also use a long, uh, long sweep 90. You can use that too. But uh, I opted to use this. And uh, whenever we put um, plumbing pipes together, we always want to use cleaner so I use the purple some people prefer the clear um, if you're having it inspected a lot of inspectors they want to see this purple cleaner on there they can't really see the, uh, the clear but you know that's that's personal preference too you just uh, just get in here and just do you have to make sure that all the whites covered or well yeah yeah I'm kind of probably overdoing it you know but uh, just just get it all in like that and uh, set that there and then this is the pipe this is going to be the, the poopy pipe if you will and we want to put a little on there and I, what I do is I let it I clean it off and I let it dry it gets sticky doesn't it well no it just really dries <laughs> and it, it'll just dry in a few seconds out here in this cool weather it's it's <laughs> it's just about dry it's not exactly a very neat job but you know like I said we're uh, using it for uh, sanitation so all right well I can go ahead and put this on here and what the way I like to do it is some people just like to just just put it in there like that all I like to do is put it on both ends and that way it slips on there better and whenever you do large PVC you have to put it together and I like to twist it like that and you have to hold it because it, what will happen is that will push out okay so see it's already it's already on there
Okay, I just wanted to show you how I um, run my drain pipe and um, our local codes around here. Uh, this is what they want to see. And uh, this, this would show the pipe draining down that way. Because you want to have that bubble just a little bit to that side of the opposite side away of its draining. And uh, if you look over here, that of course I want level. And then uh, I put the pipe in the ground. This right here, this also has to drain. Now the table's not level, but when I put it in the ground and I pack it in there, I want to make sure that that bubble is right about there. Now I've seen the plumbers come out and they'll use levels and transits and it, it comes out to about an eighth of an inch every um, foot. An eighth inch of drop per foot, so that's about an inch and a quarter every ten feet. So uh, I just have to put this in the ground and pack it in. And uh, also what I'm going to do is this is level is I'm gonna put a line on here that way when I glue this together it comes out perfect so let me go ahead and do that okay that's it okay I just want to show this to you before I got it covered up and you can see I've got the uh, the bubble so the pipe is actually raised up that way and we want it to drain like that and if we put this over here well if we can put this over here you can see how the bubble is and it's it's draining down that way and uh, I always say do as uh, do as I say not as I do this pipe is actually supposed to be like you know 10 feet tall and you fill it up with water and uh, you make sure that nothing leaks uh, and it's supposed to be all tied together, but uh, this this is actually just for something in the future So we, we may not even use this, but I, I wanted just to show you what we we're doing All right, I'd like to show you all the uh, proper way to glue CPVC and uh, a lot of people slop the glue on there and It dries and it makes what we call a glue web and uh, the water won't flow through or it's like restricted and the only way to fix it is you have to cut the pipe apart and get the glue out of there and then redo it properly so I'll try to try to show you anyway uh, this is what I'm using right here and uh, this is uh, three-quarter inch CPVC so I'll, uh, I'll just demonstrate it's gonna be hard for me to hold the camera and uh, talk to so So you just put a little bit in the rim right there. If you slosh it in there, then it, what it does is it blocks it off. So you want to put just a little bit on there and then you can, if you want to, you can slather the outside right here and it'll slide on better. But that's the uh, dirty little secret of CPVC. Whenever you run CP, uh, CPVC through uh, concrete, you have to put a protective sleeve around it so that the concrete does not is not in contact with the pipe. Uh, you have to do the same thing for copper. And uh, this is some stuff right here. I've cut it and uh, what I always do is I tape it at the top so they can't pour concrete down in there. And I always tape it at the bottom too just for the heck of it. And uh, this is the stuff right here and it's supposed to be uh, uh, blue for cold and uh, red for hot. But um, they let you get away with just uh, sleeving it. You, it's up to you to figure out that you know hot's on the left and uh, cold's on the right. So. All right, just want to show that to you. Okay, what we got here is my electrical conduits, and I have those, uh, the code around here is 18 inches to the top of the pipe. Um, once you get inside where there's a foundation, it can be a lot less than that. Uh, these are probably going to be, once they bring the dirt in, it's probably going to be around 12 inches. So, we've got that. Okay, we'll go over. Okay, we got a sink. We got a cold and a hot. There's the uh, power for we have an Insta Hot in here. That's another sink. 
that's my toilet I got a three inch vent yeah I know it doesn't have to be that big um, that's going to be my tub and you got this over here this is going to feed some receptacles and um, what I was telling you all about was you always put the uh, bell in the way and all I can use a scrap piece of pipe I don't have to get down in the ditch sometimes sometimes it's you know it's down there two feet and you have to put a coupling on there and it's a lot easier to do this or in this case over here oh, I don't even need a measuring tape all I got to do is just just measure that like right there cut it and I usually ream the electrical pipes out with my um, pocket knife like I do my plumbing pipes a little bit of dirt in there Never hurt nobody and there we go Well, here's the uh, finished product, and we have saved an absolute boatload of money doing this ourselves. The uh, electrical conduit, the PVC pipe, fittings, glue, and all that, I think we spent around $250 on that. And to have um, the uh, professionals come out here, uh, it would have cost a whole lot more than that. So, anyway, doing it yourself saves.